Hey, welcome back. We're gonna do a 20 minute full body Pilates workout, starting with roll down. So stretch those arms and legs forward, take an inhale breath on your exhale. Gonna tuck that pelvis under, start to roll down all the way onto the mat. Head is last to come down. The arms reach right overhead. Take an inhale here at the bottom. Then on your exhale, reverse back up. So think one bone at a time is peeling off that mat, reaching directly for those feet. Restack the spine, sit up nice and tall again. We're gonna do that whole thing again. Exhale, tucking the pelvis under, rolling all the way down, one bone at a time. Head is last to come down, inhale here. Exhale, use your breath to reverse back up, reach directly for those feet. Keep the abs pulled in here. Good, and again, exhale, rolling all the way down. So this is an exercise that you really wanna focus on keeping the abdominals engaged the entire time. So even on this dive forward right about to here, that's where you wanna pull those abdominals in and sit up nice and tall, keep them tight, and then exhale, rolling back down. Good, and the head is the last thing to come down. Focus on going nice and slow here. This is our warm up. Inhale, we stack. Exhale, going down. And exhale, reversing all the way back up. Reach for those feet. Inhale, restack. And then from here, we're going down just a couple inches and we're gonna start to pulse it. So one inch up, one inch down. We're here for three and two and one. Now from here, we're gonna go down a little bit more. So we're going more and more further down, teasing that gravity on the way down, pulsing five pulses total. And again, find that challenging point. So I'm just about to the top of my pelvis and I'm pulsing for three, pulsing for two and one and roll all the way down. Arms come overhead, take an inhale and then arms lower down by your side. Okay, we're gonna go right into toe taps next. So alternating toe taps first, one foot at a time lowers down towards the mat like you're dipping your big toe into a puddle. And then again, we want to make this movement coming from the hip joints, not the knee joints. So focus on keeping those knees still. Move from your hips. Good. And we're doing 10 total of these. So just keep alternating. And then going right into double leg toe tap. So 10 total. Good. If this ever feels like too much, you can go right back into those alternating. Notice that I'm not going down all the way. So I want to focus on keeping my entire back velcroed onto the mat. So if I notice any arching in that lower back especially, I know I've gone too far down. So these are really challenging to do. Almost done. Exhale to lower down. Inhale to lift. Good. And going right into the hundred. So I lift the head, neck, and shoulders up, pumping the arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five. And exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Good. Keep those arms pumping. Keep the breathing going. Extend that right leg to a high diagonal for one set. Extend the left leg to a high diagonal. Both bend, bend both knees back into tabletop and then extend both legs for these last three sets. Keep the breathing going, keep the arms pumping nice and strong. One more set. And relax, hug the knees into the chest, lower the head down. Good, you can do a few hip circles here if that feels good. Okay, we are going right into bridging. So bring those feet nice and close towards your sit bones. Lift the hips and lower the hips. Exhale, lift the hips and lower. So really press into those feet. Press the feet into the mat as strong as you can. Good, try to relax the neck, relax the shoulders. Just focus on the back of the legs, really activating. And we're just doing a total of 10 of these. Good, holding it on this next one. Good, just an isometric hold for 10 seconds here. 
Think about the feet pressing into the mat. Don't let those hips fall down. And lower down. And go ahead, hug those knees back into the chest. And we're gonna go right into leg circles next. So I'm gonna reach my right leg up towards the ceiling first. Arms down by your side. Good, and then from here, I'm gonna start by crossing my midline first, bring it out to the right, and then back up to the ceiling, crossing the midline out to the right and back up. So I'm drawing big circles with my big toe in the air. One more this direction. And then we reverse, going out to the right, crossing the midline, back up to the top. Two more this direction. And last one. And go ahead, switch those legs right away. Going to the left leg, cross your midline over to the right, down towards the foot, over to the top. Good, now always watching for the opposite hip. So in this time, keeping that right hip down, don't let it come with you with that leg. And reverse your circles over to the left. And we're here for three, and two, and last one. And lower that leg down. We're gonna do a full roll up to sitting, transitional roll up, exhale all the way up. Going right into saw, open your legs so they're mat width apart. We're gonna tee the arms out to the side, exhale, twist to the right, and then just stretch for that opposite toe with your pinky finger. And then twist to the other direction. Look at that backhand. Good, and just keep twisting from the rib cage. So it's important that we keep our hips still here. We just wanna twist from that rib cage on up. That's really gonna help activate the core a lot more. And just going back and forth, alternating from right to left. And again, keep those abs tight as you reach for that foot and then getting taller each time you twist. And again, keep that breathing going, keep it consistent the whole time. I like to exhale as I twist. Lower those arms down. We're gonna go into spine stretch. So we're reaching for those toes right away, we're reaching for the ankles, and then coming back up, restacking the spine. And again, really pull that rib cage back in opposition as you reach for those ankles as much as you can, and then restack, head is last to come up. And again, exhale, reach for those ankles, belly button to spine. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. And one more time, exhale, reach for the ankles. And restack. Okay, going right onto extension exercises. I'm gonna have you guys come onto your stomachs, right on the forearms. Then we're gonna go into single leg kick. So just alternating from right to left again, two pulses in towards the bum. So again, we wanna think about the back of our legs working, our abs are lifting off of the mat as much as they can, and I'm pressing out of my shoulders. And notice that I have a soft gaze right in front of my hands. We wanna keep that gaze there the whole time as we're alternating from right to left. Going right into single leg kick double leg kick, I mean. So we're gonna keep the legs straight, three taps with the heels, lift the chest, good, and turn your head to the opposite direction, three taps, chest lifts, arm stretches out behind you, and again, three taps, exhale, lift the chest, stretch the arms, turn your head to the other direction, three taps, lifting the chest nice and high, and one more set here. And tap, tap, tap. And lift the chest, stretch the arms. Okay, going right into our first set of swimming. So you're gonna extend those arms up overhead, take an inhale, exhale, lift the arms and legs, start to flutter kick. We're here for about 30 seconds, almost like you're just treading through water nice and quickly. Keep that breathing consistent, keep the abs tight. Don't let go of that abdominal engagement here. Keep the pelvis still. Almost done, keep breathing, reaching those toes and fingertips away from you. Finding that length. 
and pause and lower down. We're gonna do just one more set of these. Take an inhale and then exhale, lift, and we start that whole thing again. Another 30 seconds, starting now, keep going. Good, again, breathing is really important here. Try not to hold your breath. That's gonna hold tension in those muscle groups. We wanna keep them moving, keep the breathing going. Good, squeeze those glutes, help protect that lower back, almost done. And pause, lower down. Sit back into a child's pose, stretch out the back after all that extension that we did. Breathe into the back and side of the ribcage. And then let's come up onto our hands and knees in our quadruped. We're gonna go for a plank series. Okay, so first plank, just walk one foot back at a time. And we're just gonna do a 20 second hold here. So think about every muscle in your body, squeezing nice and tight, squeeze those glutes together, get the hips down, lifting out of those shoulders, breathe into this exercise, we're almost done. And lower the knees down, sit back into a child's pose. You can turn the palms up so they're facing the ceiling, take pressure off of the hands. We're gonna start to add on, making each one a little bit more difficult. So same thing, find your plank. This time you're gonna tap the right toe out to the side and back in, and you're just gonna alternate from right to left. Little taps to the side and back in. Focus on keeping your shoulder blades still as those hips are moving, the lower body moving. And we're just doing 20 of these. Almost done, keep breathing, keep those abs tight. And lower down, relax. Okay, one more child's pose. And then just one more plank variation. This is our last one going into heel pulses. So we're gonna lift that right leg hovered off the mat, two little pulses up to the ceiling and down. And then the left and just keep alternating. Good, just going back and forth. We're halfway there, only doing 10 total of these. Good, again, focus on keeping that scapula nice and still. And relax. Turn those palms, sit back in a child's pose. Okay, getting into sideline work. So start on down on lying on your left side. Okay, we're gonna start by lifting that right leg up and down. So we just lift it up a few inches and down a few inches. Find length in your upper torso and your legs. So really stretching your head and feet in opposition here. Good, notice that I'm not bringing that leg all the way down. I wanna keep it covered off that bottom one. Good, now hold that last one up and that left leg, that bottom leg is gonna reach up towards the top one. So inner thigh work here, working both inner and outer thighs now. Doing 10 total of these. Now both legs together come down, reach the right leg back up and both come down together. Squeezing through those inner thighs, adding both exercises together here. Keep the breathing going, keep the abs tight. Now we're gonna shuffle those feet back and forth for 10 seconds. Again, stay breathing, don't hold your breath. Squeeze those leg muscles and lower the legs down. Okay, getting right into a side plank next. <clears throat> come up on your left hand. You're gonna lift those hips straight up towards the ceiling and we're gonna go right into hip dips here. So 15 total, pressing into that left hand, pressing out of that shoulder. 10 more, we're almost done. And five, and four, last three two one and we're just gonna hold it here at the top for a quick second find the isometric hold lower down go right into a mermaid stretch so reach for those ankles sitting on your left side 
Good, side bend over towards the opposite direction. Tee the arms out, we'll do counter stretch. Lower into your other forearm, side bend to the other direction. Inhale here, exhale to come back up and we'll go right onto that second side of our side lying series. So lay on your right side this time. Those feet are slightly in front of you, angled towards the front of the mat. And we start with that left leg lifting up and down. We're here for eight and seven and six and five and four last three two one hold this one up and then that bottom leg meets the top one ten of these here we're here for eight and seven and six last five four three two and one we're gonna start to add both of them together so we start by lifting that left leg then they both lower down towards the mat good almost like the legs are chasing each other one after the other and we're shuffling here 10 seconds nice and fast think of those upper thighs staying connected squeezing those inner thighs together and lower down with control. Okay, let's go right into that second set of planks. So right hand is on the mat this time, my left foot is forward in front of my other leg, and then exhale, lifting right up, reaching the hand to the sky, and we start right into those hip dips, 15 total. Good, keep breathing. Almost there. Lifting out of that right shoulder. Good, and trying to lift those hips as high up as you can. Really challenging yourself here. And hold. And let's come all the way back down. Going into that mermaid stretch. So holding onto your ankles. Side bend over to the left. Tee the arms out. Lower that forearm down, side bend to the other direction. And coming all the way back up, lower the arms down. And we are going to do a transitional roll down, finishing with our ab finisher. So reach the arms and legs towards the front of the mat. Exhale, use your breath to roll all the way down. Head is last to come down. Arms come down by your side. So starting with single leg stretch, Reach the left leg to a high diagonal, pull the right knee in, and we're alternating 20 total. Good, keep breathing. Almost done, keeping those shoulders down. Relax the shoulders, elbows stay out to the side. And going right into double leg stretch. So reaching those arms and legs away, circle the arms around. 10 total of these. Keep breathing, inhale to reach, exhale to circle around, halfway there. And one more. And going right into crisscross. So alternating from left to right, think opposite elbow to knee. Good, keep reaching that opposite leg away from you. 20 total of these going back and forth. And let's get right into double leg lift. So we're ending here. Just lowering those legs down as low as they can go without straining that lower back. Five only, we're not here for long. And then on your last one, we're gonna pause and hold and start to cross those ankles here 10 times. Keep switching back and forth and hug the knees into the chest, lower everything down. Okay, let's stretch the abdominal. So cross the left leg over the right, bring your knees over to the other direction, turn your head to the left. Come back to center and then other leg. We'll cross it all the way over. Knees to the left, head turns to the right. 
breathe into that side. Exhale, come back to center, uncross the legs, stretch the arms and legs away. Let's roll all the way up one more time to sitting. Reach for those feet one last time, and then we'll just end with a counter stretch. Reach the hands behind you, press them into the mat, and then it'll feel, feel like a nice stretch for the abdominals, and you're all done.